In a world where you need audio heroes, several nerds will come together to fight for nerd kind. It's time for nerds to step up and unite. It's time for a crisis on infinite podcast. <laughs> Very unfortunate real meaning and that was really creepy hoodie. Wow. Oh no one else did the breath part? <laughs> no, nah, nah. we just wanted to see how hot your breath was. That's where they literally they all take a literal breath and like <sighs> Nope. Mm, tell me more, hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast brought to you by breathing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all hot air in the studio now. Just all hot. I know, right? Land I mean, mammals. It's, it's this only, is an enclosed I mean, space. I can leave if you guys want. I mean, you just do it. Point say up. hot air, hot looks. It's hot Boo. breath. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. my, my name's Hoodie. I'm Kevin. I'm Javi. And I'm Alex. And you are listening to now officially the 43rd episode of Crisis, Crisis on Infinite Podcast. Podcast. Yeah, last week I had a little of a confusion because we're getting towards old age now. And mm-hmm. I'm getting towards the ripe old age of 24 and I don't know what's going on with my life Getting anymore. towards the ripe old age of 24? Yeah. Bruh. Alex is sitting here like, oh boy. I'm serious. F25 is all is over. I get, thought it was over at F24, honestly. Uh, <laughs> are there any songs for when you turn 24? Like, you know, because 24. When you turn 23, you're like, nobody loves you when you're 23. I don't know. I know if 22 is um Rick Ross. No, 22 is also See, Taylor that's not Swift. what I thought. Why are you Rick Ross immediately? Because <laughs> probably like 22. 24, uh, that would be just the theme song of 24. this show, 24, yeah. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I'm excited. Well, I accept yeah, well. that, sir. I accept uh, that. Nah. <laughs> but we're excited. We're officially back from Orlando where we cover the mm. Call of Duty World League Championship. It was so much fun. I want to go back. Which we'll get to in a little bit. <laughs> probably about like five minutes. But on today's episode, we have some upcoming video games that completely came out of the blue yesterday. <laughs> we have a... Approval by Kevin of the WWE 2K18 roster reveal. Thumbs up. If he likes it or if he doesn't. I think he just liked it because he just spoiled it. That's okay. No, he hated it. Also, we're talking about potentially a new Batman, apparently, as well in a little bit. And then, obviously, Game of Thrones and our prediction for what's going to happen beyond the wall. Big things are popping. Big things popping. Oh, that's a good T.I. song. Oh, yeah, true. Mm, maybe we'll do that next week. I remember T.I. was big. He was popping. And, and he was things. <laughs> and he was dating Tiny. And he brought them I out. I thought they was married to Tiny. I don't know. They're divorced. That's a separate podcast. You're here for <laughs> all the TI podcast. You're here for all the nerdy news you need to know. Join the hashtag Crisis Crew on at Infinite Underscore Pods. We're on Facebook, Twitter, think Snapchat. I think we have it, but we don't know what the password is anymore. Hmm. Instagram too. Instagram as well. We want to make sure you're involved. Get your voice to be heard. But first thing first, sad news for Kevin. What? What? Your beloved franchise. <sighs> the one you wear the hat all the time too. Tell me more. It's my vacation hat. <laughs> it's pushed back to 2018. <sighs> Crackdown no vacations 3 for you. officially got pushed back to 2018. See, Kevin knew what I was talking about. Javi and Alex didn't know what I was talking about. So uh, I played it at E3, and it was so much fun. I was excited. But at this point, I'm, I'm going to get at a positive way. Uh-huh. It's so good. They need more time to work on it. Mm, there you yeah. go. Yeah, that you tell yourself that. Yes, that's what it is. This is going to be the game of the year. So when it gets put back to 2019. 2020. 2021. Stop it. <laughs> and then no game. When you turn <laughs> and then just no, push back to no game. Turn, and then when you turn 50, they do like a relaunch of it, like they do with Prey, like uh, last year. I'm just going to, you guys make me cry. Stop it. What, what, what you get playing right there? Crack, back in my day, Crackdown. Crackdown was, <laughs> crack <down. laughs> crack was going to have a third one, but now they just rebooted the franchise. <laughs> Not my Crackdown. They have electric guns in the game now, too. I, I can like shoot electricity at people. It's fun. I would say that's shocking, but. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Wow. But yeah, I'm kind of bummed out about it. But you know, 20, 2019, 18 is, isn't that far away, right? Allegedly, we're already Allegedly. In, in month, and hopefully like six months away, right? Hopefully, we make yeah, it there. Almost, yeah. Almost, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was I sad. I just realized I can't do simple math. That was it's four months. We're in August, I can't right? do simple math. <laughs> Wait. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, see, Alex can't do it either. That's okay. And all, honestly, I thought August was the sixth month, and I was like, mm, well, it feels no. like the sixth month because you know June and July are sort of just like together and they're there yeah. sometimes august is in there for me too yeah oh, like until first, school starts there's the first half a, of august for sure yeah. for sure but kevin are you, are you still hopeful that you get to play it soon or no yes i'm i'm holding down hope dang it maybe i can play it on the xbox one x maybe it'll, it'll, the price will drop by then eh, dang not. flab it dang, darn flab it <laughs> um but apparently it's supposed to be for like graphical updates so make it even prettier yes prettier. i'm for that then 
<laughs> you seem so unsure. <laughs> I think I am for that. Yes, it will be good. Microsoft playing my emotions, dang it. Uh, <laughs> did you haven't pre-ordered it yet? Did you? No, I didn't pre-order. It? I didn't pre-order it. Yet. I wonder how that works. Like if you pre-order a game, and like it's delayed or if it gets canceled, if you get your money back. Because you pre-order, you put that five dollars down. $5. Well, I think it's delayed. I can tell you from my friend's experience when he pre-ordered Kingdom Hearts three, mm-hmm. it's just oh. been pushed back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just been pushed back. Like he pre-ordered it two years ago. Mm. It's still on deck. Did people get their money back for the Nintendo Classic that just got pushed back? Oh, that SNES Classic. Oh, yeah. Well, that was different. That was the wrong order, so they gave them all their money back. Oh, yeah. But I, I'm I'm holding on hope. That's what I said. I'm keep wearing my hat to bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to bed? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say my prayers every night that Crackdown comes out. I brought out you another one, one in case you need a day hat and a night <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Talk about a nightcap. Well, we'll say that. Oh, you know what? I get it. Your Yo, puns I'm, today. I'm killing the puns today, y'all. Y'all better watch it. Pun guy. Uh, <laughs> but something that was on deck last week for us. Mm-hmm. See, I referenced two sentences ago, not one <laughs> sentence ago. Was that we got to go to Orlando, guys yes. and girls. O-Town. O-Town to cover the Call of Duty World League Championship. Yeah. Amazing. And it was great. It favorite was. parts? Favorite parts. Dang, Alex already going straight to favorite parts. <laughs> I don't know. I want to know right <laughs> now. Oh, for me up there and me and Hoodie, me and Javi kind of went rogue again. Again? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Yo, okay, I know where we're going. I have to be with you every time. <laughs> because every so, time you do a little path, all something good happens. Javi was going to interview the, the winning team of uh, the tournament, which ended up being Optic Gaming. Yeah. Congratulations. Congrats. Greenwall. And he wanted to uh, go get a little some pick me up juice real quick from the from the media room. And who did he run into but one uh, former UFC, I think light heavyweight champion, uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson. Woo! <laughs> light heavyweight. That dude was big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what, that's what uh, light heavyweight of weight means. Light heavyweight of normal. <laughs> that doesn't look like that. <laughs> and to his credit, he was trying his hardest to get Javi a woman. So I thought that was pretty cool of him also. I just feel like that says a lot about me when like Rampage is putting me on and I still Also, am how did not, that conversation come up? Let me tell you. I walked in the room and he's like, Oh, are, are these the guys you were talking about? Like this guy right here in the blue. I He had a blue shirt. I had a blue shirt. That was me. Hey, Javi was looking good out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He ironed everything too. He I had, a, I had on an Orioles shirt and he had on like, you know, he was going to church. <laughs> <laughs> like my man was putting me on and I was I still didn't have the juice. But, yo, shout out to you, Rampage. I mean, I, I saw her eye. She was kind of thinking about it because Rampage was putting you on. I know, right? And the front you, desk girl? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there Javi's, were multiple girls. Javi's bae. <laughs> oh, yeah. How long, were you, how long were you with Rampage Jackson? For, like, 20 minutes? <laughs> Not long enough, apparently. <laughs> uh, I mean, all you need is 10 minutes, right? With Rampage Jackson, you'll be good to go with a girl, right? Apparently not, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm gonna say ten minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, my my mind went. Oh, okay, come on, get your mind out of there. Get it out of there. But other than that, I think just the actual experience of being in a, a big basketball arena, not like a little convention center, but like a huge basketball arena. Yeah, and we were in the Amway Center. Amway Center, which is the home arena, arena, I guess, or stadium arena, arena, arena. yeah, arena for the Orlando Magic. It's like, it's like the Verizon. Oh, I'm sorry, the Cap Center of Orlando, pretty much. Mm. Mm. Cap Arena. Cap Arena. Oh, wow. I'm totally off. Changing names. <laughs> Arena's, cha- Arena's changed names like every day. We're like, gone four so. days and everything changes. I know, right? <laughs> changed. This is what happens when we're uh, not up in All right. Here. So, Javi, what was your favorite moment besides Rampage Jackson being your wingman? Uh, ooh. That, I mean, that tops it. I think one of my favorite moments, uh, besides learning how much incidentals cost. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what's an incidental for someone who's never experienced what an incidental is? Well, an incidental... Is when you I knock. Like how, <laughs> I like how. So you just continue with the story. I'll explain. <laughs> An incidental is uh, I, I bet some form of damage, security alleged deposit. damage. Yes, it's a security <laughs> deposit of sorts for if you incur any damage or marks in the room that you stay in at mm-hmm. the hotel. But because uh, when we rode up there. I wasn't aware of the incidental cost. <laughs> it was just me and Javi at the front desk, and she was like, all right, I'm going to need a card for the incidentals. And Javi and I looked at each other, and we were like, oh, what? <laughs> and she she dropped a number that was a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Because yeah, usually they, 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 they put a hold on your card. They don't actually charge your card for anything. Yeah, well, they, they charge they, your card. They, they charge my card. Yeah. <laughs> they charge my card. The lady almost charged my card for the entire hotel fee. I was like, oh, that's a different number. I'm going to need a different one. So that was your highlight? Was that? <laughs> no. <Nah>, I- <laughs> the incidental fee. The incidental fee. I think my, uh, my highlight was honestly um, 
just getting to experience uh, esports sort of in like in that element, yeah. and seeing like the audience and just the competitive nature and how big it is. Because this was my first esports event, and I thought mm. it was really cool and a, and a different world to step into. I thought it was a lot more. It's better to experience in person. I feel like yeah, hundred uh, percent. Instead of seeing on TV, <laughs> like it's cool on TV sometimes, but to actually be there and hear the crowd go, "Oh, oh no, what's that? Oh my gosh!" Yeah, there's like, a lot of preconceived notions that like I even walked in and I was like, "Wow, this proved me wrong." Yeah. on so many different levels, and it was cool. Mm-hmm. Alex, the, mm, I think the most like surprising thing there was like you said the fan interaction, especially for Optic Gaming, their fans were intense. Oh yeah. The, Otherwise known as the Green Wall, which I found out. <laughs> Wait, the team or the fan base? The fan, the fan base. base. They have look, a fan, if you got base, a fan name, base name. Wow, <laughs> you know you legit. Come on, Crisis Crew, you need to make us look better. What's well, the Crisis Crew? <laughs> they already know what the name is. <laughs> but we need a wall. We need a wall. <laughs> Crisis Crew wall. Exactly. <laughs> the CCW. The Wall Crew. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think my favorite part was. The nice car and um, chauffeurs sh- that we had. Chauffeur. <laughs> just the chauffeur. The chauffeur. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> B. Shout out to B. What was his actual name? Uh, Bar Bartram, I think. B. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but as a whole, the the whole trip was great. Mm-hmm. Um, from start to finish, our flights were perfect. In all honesty, like there was no turbulence except for the whole computer thing that Kevin was. Yeah, I'll, about. I'll get on that later. <laughs> Oh, we want to get to it now. It was just I awkward. Mean, let me do my recap. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you Hoodie. Wait, you already yeah. had your turn. You wait. Yeah, go ahead. So Hoodie, what was your favorite uh, part? So my highlight was just that, uh, like we said last week, it's the culmination of a lot of hustle from this crisis yeah. crew. Uh, we got invited. We got invited. Like, we didn't apply or anything. We no, got it was invited. Just a random email. Uh, it was just cool that... Uh, I was proud of you, Javi. I was like, my proud son. That's not really my son, but is <laughs> my age. <laughs> my age. <laughs> That's my he, age. Uh, Javi actually got a... It was like a real-life sports post-game interview after the final match. Yeah, press uh, conference. It was, yeah, it was like a press conference. Optic Gaming actually won $600,000. We were wrong last week. They were splitting the million-plus prize yeah. pool. Mm-hmm. Um, but even teams that were there, like the 32nd team, which was the last place team of this uh, championship, they're still like top 32 in the world. Yeah. Uh, they walked away with $10,000. Like, whoo! I was gonna yeah. say we could we could did that us four we could have yeah. been in there. So yeah. or have you trained your daughter yet for? Uh, oh yeah, also, starting to that's please. actually my highlight. Yeah. <laughs> that, um, the children of the the studios that we record in, yeah, uh, or their parents. I was like, hey, can I start an esports team with all your kids? And they all agreed. So uh, in <laughs> about five years, get ready for uh, hoodies starts. esports <laughs> yeah. training class. Yeah, he about to be like the coach, the Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Oh, I'm already. So I'm gonna have aviators, like a white brim hat, he's like, like a whistle. He's gonna be like one of, one I'm gonna those... have hiked up shorts and like just a polo. Like, hey, you kids! Be like one of those German gymnastics Get back coaches. Back on the console. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. David Hasselhoff. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but it was super fun. Um, it was just cool that, I mean, it filled up. They people were saying that more people were going to this esports championship than an Orlando Magic or other sports team that are with. I mean. Me. On Sunday, it felt like it was like six thousand people there. Yeah, yeah, it was sick. And it was they were there since last Tuesday, I think it was. They started mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. So I don't who who knows how many people were there during during the whole week. Yeah, yeah, and past paid attendance too. But just thank you, Activision. Thank you, Day. Our boy Day. Yo, thank shout you out to you, Day. Um, we're just excited because more opportunities, and we're gonna try and see if we can do more esports stuff. Maybe it's not weekly coverage. Yeah, that could. That could literally be a whole podcast. Yeah. Maybe we yeah. should start a supplemental podcast. Hey. Also want to say shout out to James from Activision, kind of breaking everything down for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We did, we knew nothing going into yeah, this. Yeah, and he, got, he kind of just broke it all down Our for mentor. us. Yeah. Our mentor. <laughs> yeah. uh, but yes, so Kevin, what was uh, your computer story you said? It was just awkward. Um, We got off the plane in Baltimore. It was a good flight. I watched wrestling on the plane. It was great. It was free. And then some wrestling. somebody... uh. As pulled down a, a, <laughs> an entire desktop t- tower and a monitor from the carry-on. I'm like, that is dangerous. They could have, that thing could have been wired up remotely. And I'm like, why? It wasn't boxed up at all. It was, just, was, no, it was like, like free. It was like, it was like you should put your, your laptop in the carry-on. That's mm-hmm. how the, 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 the computer tower was. It was the, a tower? So what do you, like a professional tower? It was, like it was a, computer? it was a monitor that was at least 19 inches. It was 24. It, it was, it was, was a 24 inch monitor. Inch monitor. Did, it, did it look new or was it like? It looked on like broken. Windows, Windows yeah. 98. No, this was a brand new system. This probably had Windows 7 okay. and everything. So it could be someone that went to the tournament. Maybe. Yeah. But it was like they're training that on board. But Kevin's airport etiquette. <laughs> but it's like they, they don't let us carry 
anything larger than like a what a five ounce bottle of like deodorant but on you can the plane. Bring an entire I got <laughs> stopped for a bag of coins several times. Hey, if it's your carry on, it's what counts. It's your carry on. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. It was, but it just kind of threw me off a little bit. That's all. I, mm. I didn't expect to see that. Then there was somebody skateboarding through the Orlando airport. Nobody Arrested. cared. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? Where are we? <laughs> I, I was in tears because all you hear, like, all you hear is Kevin cried. in from like out of nowhere just say, arrest him. <laughs> and it's like mid eating sandwich. <laughs> or no, it's chicken. Yeah. There are kids playing in like, in like the runway here. He just kind of goes on the skateboard. I'm just like, I guess it's the dad in me. I crash the old man I'm becoming. Honestly, I think that's honestly, what it is. Every, every day you're getting closer. <laughs> exactly. To the crash of the old man you make fun of, and he's yeah, the voice I, of. I become more Rick every day. I think. Yes. Speaking <laughs> of which, oh my God, that, I love that was this. That's a great good segue. Yo, high part. five, my man. How much have you watched, Kevin? Since yes. Orlando. Kevin has officially started. Actually, you already started. You're like, I'm, I'm in it. Almost caught I'm up. I'm Rick and Morty. What made you start, Kevin? Watch it. We watch it in a hotel on Sunday night after, after Game of Thrones, and I watched Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. <laughs> Pickle Rick. And I was like, "What is this awesomeness? And why have I not had this in my life since it started?" Mm. <laughs> it's so good. It's really, really good so show. Where are you? Season two now. I am one. only episode I haven't seen so far is see, episode two of season three. I oh, so you're you, like you, you all the way in it. Oh yeah. So yeah. I watch. I'm, I'm all caught. I watch all season one. Watch all of season two. You watch the Szechuan. Which one? Yeah, watch that one. Yeah, that one's actually kind of sad. Then you watch Pickle Rick. Yeah. Yep. And then you watch the newest one, The but, Vindicators. Yeah, right? Vindicators. Yeah. yeah. And now I gotta watch the season episode two. I can't. I think, oh, the, the Mad Max one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad Max yeah, yeah. I started it earlier, but then they've been on point. Yeah, I, it's been really good. <laughs> I've watched the pilot. Hey, you're getting there. Proud but I was you. watching it while nannying, and I was like, this doesn't seem I, child appropriate. I can't so <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> maybe no. not. <laughs> All right. I, I will say, out of everybody on the show, I think Morty's my least favorite character. I'm, I, I see that, though. But like, I, I don't say why he needs to be there, though. Right. You know, he, he, needs, he needs to be the Yang to Rick's Yang. But, like, can we talk about some of the creatures and, like, side characters in, in like, this series? Favorite group? Yeah. Seal Team Rick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Seal Team Rick was also <laughs> Seal Team Rick. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! But then like the, it's like the butt planet, like they keep uh-huh. going to randomly. You remember that one? Remember uh, that that was yeah. like the first episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what's that random butt yeah. planet? And then it, there's um Mr. Poop. What's Mr. Mr. Poopy Butthole? Mr. Poopy Butthole. <laughs> 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 oh, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Great. Kevin is now one of us. I, there, there's probably like a uh, people who watch the show. What's your fandom called? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we're really part of this. I think Javi's more part of this fandom. Like I'm just like they're I called Squanchies. Squanch. Oh, Squanchies. Oh, is that what they're called? Squanchies. No, I, 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 <laughs> okay. Well, now you are. <laughs> but uh, we're excited. Rick and Morty. I think has ten episodes. Correct, Javi. Yeah. Yeah. Javi's the expert. Per I'm in season? the middle. Kevin's started. Yeah, we're in the yeah. third season right now. No, I meant like ten per season. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so okay. I think now I'm gonna wait till season three ends and then finally binge them all after it's over. Well, apparently the episodes won't be free on. Or have apparently been free on Adult Swim this whole time. Yeah. I didn't what? know that. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? You, you can watch uh, watch them on your on demand if you want to catch up. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, yeah. Also, you, they'll Hulu. go on Hulu eventually. I think at, later in the season. Yeah. But I was like, oh, but officially, uh, Adult Swim isn't doing the free episodes anymore. I was like, well, I didn't even know it existed. So there we go. <laughs> but the show is amazing. The show is really good. Mm-hmm. It has a, a great balance of ridiculous comedy and then like very touching parts also. Yeah. I like like Futurama actually. Mm-hmm. But I, I I love it. I'm I'm totally sold. So I love it. <laughs> but you know what you're gonna love. What? Some of the stuff that's coming out this week to video game stores, internets, and internets. movie stores near you. And <laughs> Multiple, movie internets. Near you. Multiple internets. Multiple internets. <laughs> if you have different types of internets, <laughs> it's time for us to recap everything that's coming out this week. It's time for Bring, bring Them Out, Bring Them Out. out. Oh, we're getting better and better at it. We're good at this so podcast thing. We're good at that. We're good at, you know, it only took 43, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so out this week on consoles... Sort of everywhere, if you have the console. If it's not there, then you don't have on it the everywhere. the internet. Um, so yeah. you have Agents of Mayhem, which is out on Xbox One, PlayStation, and PC, which is from the developers of Saints Row. Yes. It's sort of like a hero-based sort of XCOM crossover. Yeah. So if you like Saints Row, uh, that's a game for you. Yep. I played it at E3. It was a lot of fun. Mm. I don't foresee myself playing it like exclusively online, but it's a lot of fun. Mm. Also out this week, a little game called Night Trap is celebrating its 25th anniversary and it's coming out this week on PlayStation 4. Oh. Do you guys know what Night Trap is? Nah. No, I do not. So Night Trap is actually one of the very first games that, and as well as Mortal Kombat, that influenced the ESRB, the ratings on video games to be made, known. Oh. So okay. essentially in the game, you were sort of like a third-person perspective of this. It's sort of like a movie almost. 
uh, 25 years ago when games weren't really like what we're we doing <laughs> um where it was a sleepover but it's being attacked by this like intruder and you were the one that controlled if how the story went in the game it was 25th anniversary oh, very interesting yeah, uh, it was like choose your own adventure but a video game interesting is definitely so a word if you know that from 25 years ago there you go I think you listen to it. Oh, by the way, creepy also creepy is a yes. word I would use. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, more so. but hey, it's it's a classic game apparently for some reason. Also out this week in the theaters, you got Logan Lucky, yeah, which has our boy Daniel Craig, who is being the fifth turn as Bond, whenever that Bond. comes out. James Bond. James Bond. And Adam Driver. And Adam Driver, aka Kylo Ren. Yeah. Driver. As well as Adam Channing Tatum, Driver. aka. Are we gonna do Gambit? Gambit? There you go. Okay, or, I didn't or, know we were gonna AKA do. Aka Magic know. Mike. True, or the or twenty two jump street, aka the, Magic Mike XXL, or the Statesman. He's one of the Statesmen. Oh, he is a Statesman. That's we'll when, we'll yeah, find that out. That's when GI Joe too. He died really early. He in is too. I was so mad about that. <laughs> 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 he died like the first five minutes. <laughs> like the first five minutes. <laughs> also right, out done. in the theaters this week, you got Nick Fury and Deadpool teaming up because Hitman's Bodyguard's coming out this week. V good. I, I like it. I think it's gonna be. You saw it already? Yeah. I just see it already. I, I, I told y'all. Last week, <laughs> I don't remember you saying that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> were you in Orlando? And yeah, yeah, right. Oh, you got night, a special screening of it. Yeah, the night oh, before. Yeah. The night before we went oh, to Orlando. Oh, you, you, you did tell say us that. in the podcast. Uh, oh, was separate from the podcast. Oh, yeah. I was like, uh, <laughs> I, mean, like, God, I definitely everything this. before going into the podcast doesn't always come out after the podcast. <laughs> so. Bet, bet. <laughs> um, but I'm excited for that. They're doing a lot of parody. I, I bet there's gonna be jokes with Nick Fury and Deadpool, like something like superhero related in that movie. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to. Or is there Javi? Wait, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Uh, uh, I didn't quite see much of like that, like a Nick Fury or Deadpool joke specifically. Javi just like I really didn't see much of the movie, but <laughs> but it was it was enjoyable and like it, exactly what you wanted from the two. How many f bombs from Samuel Jackson ballpark oh, every time? My God, it's, it's is it a hard R or a low R? Uh, it's <laughs> snakes it's, on a plane it's or an, like it's a hard, <laughs> it's a hard <laughs> language, <laughs> language R. It's a hard language R. All right, cool. Would you recommend people seeing it then? Yeah, if you're looking for something fun, easy to just kind of like watch and go to the movies, it's definitely something. I wouldn't say a family fun film, but like <laughs> definitely Take an action. Take my grandma. Go definitely see an action job packed. Was, was it kind of like Spy with Melissa McCarthy? A little bit, yeah. Okay, cool. I can deal with that. Speaking of my grandma, she loved that movie. The movie was hilarious. My grandmother loves literally any movie where there's a blow up scene or like all of the Mission Impossibles are her favorite. She will go see any my kind lady. movie. Oh, and cool guys walk away from explosions. Yeah, she loves those. Cool guys walk away from <laughs> We can do that in Photoshop. I mean, Somehow. we could do that anyway. Just literally just take a photo of us walking and just put it in front of an explosion. I've Are you all not trying car? to just blow up something and walk away from it? I mean... I'm here to tell you it's not fun when cars I'll blow make, up. I'll make a ba- <laughs> baking soda and vinegar <laughs> volcano and walk away from that. For Actually, sure. We, we, That's we have, better. We have, we have those old promo cars in the, in, the, in, the, in the garage we can blow up. No? no. Okay, now you're just committing a crime and you're putting it on the podcast. <laughs> no. What We've we, talked about Didn't this. we talk about this last week? I Kevin remember. doing illegal things and yes. we're saying no. <laughs> but... One last thing that's finally coming out this week, and it's been a while. And it's a good thing for Netflix users before it, it... I don't think it'll get removed. The Defenders is coming to Netflix, a.k.a. tonight on the 18th. Oh, is, wow. It is tonight. Yeah. Oh, wow. Guess who's staying up? Not me, Till Kevin. 3 a.m.? Mm. You right. Guess who's just going to get up tomorrow <laughs> and watch it after work? Not I. <laughs> Guess who's going to do it watching work? Oh, uh, I got so much stuff to do tomorrow. Uh-huh. I'm sure you do. All of a sudden, Kevin's watched five episodes. What, what? happened? Where am what are you I? Talking about I'm <laughs> busy. Are well, you guys excited for Defenders? It's a culmination of all the Marvel Netflix heroes. Too. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I'm looking so, forward to see the characters. I want to see if they kind of re- try to redeem uh, Iron Fist and this whole <laughs> show. Sorry. Well, apparently, you don't even need to watch Iron. F- like they, they exclusively like in the reviews, you don't need to watch Iron Fist because they sort of like recap it. Oh, that's good. Um, they're doing like spoiler-free impressions right now, and then tomorrow, all the leaks. Like all the reviews of it will go out. I know IGN reviewed the first four, but I haven't seen. Yeah. It. I, I don't remember. Apparently, the first couple ones are just like character intros of all four, and then they actually regroup like third, fourth episode. Okay. Mm-hmm. Huh. All right. I'm Bad. excited. I'm excited for Daredevil to suit up again though, because I haven't seen him in the suit in a while. Mm-hmm. Suit up. I'm ready for like there to be some like combo moves between characters. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. you know from like Avengers where they all do the like uh, Captain America and Thor like. He hits the hammer with the... Oh, yes. Yeah. Like, I watched I like Avengers Ultra, Ultra, Age of Ultra. <laughs> <it's happening. laughs> yeah, something like that. I wonder if they let, if they let um, Jessica Jones fly also, because it kind of hinted that she can well, fly. She, I thought she could jump. I thought she could just leap real high. Yeah. Well, in the comics, she can fly, and it kind of hinted that she can 
leap real high and kind of fly in the she first glide. season. But I want to see if they let her actually let her fly this time. It'd be kind of cool. Also, are we gonna get some drama between uh, Luke Cage? Probably. And oh his yeah. Old gang and spill Jessica that. Jones. Spill all that tea right you there. You know I'm waiting for it. Like, <laughs> hey. So, Javi, your voice is saying drama, but your body isn't indicating drama. <laughs> <laughs> my voice is saying one thing. I'm very my body much so here. My for mind this. is telling me no. But my body. My I want. Body I want this to get as messy as possible. Wow. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. Other topic. Moving on. And that was uh, <laughs> bring him out. Bring him out. out. <laughs> that totally threw us off. <laughs> the mixture uh, of R. Kelly and the word messy is not great. <laughs> oh wow. My bad. That's a whole, that's that a whole was, other show. That was that's mad, a whole other mad show. Mad problematic, and I'm gone. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me just get into your ears right now. Oh, oh, oh he's still going. It's the Magical Sensual Podcast. Wow, wow. 43 episodes. All this took. The Sensual Podcast. Oh, man, I can't open it. Sensual Seduction. That. For later. <laughs> so, Kevin. Yes, sir. A little good old game called uh, WWE 2K18 Ooh. is coming out in when? Mm. You probably know. October. October. And they just revealed the roster of the first 47 characters. And I want your review of it. Okay. Is it going to be good or is it bad for Kevin? AKA Twelve hours later, the wrestling fan of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one. Well, Hood is kind of a wrestling fan, but he's cooler than me, so he doesn't have I'm time cool. for I'm it. I'm a lunch lot wrestling fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, and also Javi and Alex, if you know who they are, you can shout out and be like, "Yeah or nah." So Kevin's <laughs> going to say "Yeah or nah" if he's excited or if he's not excited. Okay. For these re- wrestlers, as soon as I pull it up, because it went away on my phone. Randy Orton. Oh, yes, Randy Orton. Yeah. Huh. Eric Young. Yeah, wow, really? Yeah. Mm, okay. Oh, okay, we got... Mm, mm. Interesting, okay. Uh, let's see, this is another one. Let's go... Mm, mm. I don't like that noise. <laughs> Luke Gallows. <laughs> uh, nah. Uh, oh. Yeah. Seamus. Nah. Good. Nah. Nah? Nah, I'm, I'm over Seamus. Ray Mysterio. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's, that's not oh. Happy. That's oh. Not happy. I got excited. Uh. <laughs> I got really excited. Do I know who's very mysterious? I do. Uh, Jinder Mahal, the Maharaj. The modern day Maharaja, yes. I think yeah. that's what it says. It's in its title right now, so I was thinking, <laughs> cool, I guess. This means prince in Indian. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. well, man, we're learning words. <laughs> the more you know. Always like, I feel like this podcast is sort of like reading Rainbow. You're learning new words, you're like, ah, oh, hey, go, this guy. guy. I can go twice. It's so crazy that the guy from the Reading Rainbow is on Star Trek. LeVar Burton? Yeah. In a book. It's Reading Rainbow. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Sawyer Fulton? Nah. I don't know who that is. Me neither. That's why I said nah. <laughs> uh, it's me, it's me, it's DDP. Yeah. DDP yoga, baby. Hey, I'm about to start Have that. you done that? Oh, you are. I think I'm about starting it because everybody else, everybody else is losing weight. Watch, watch, I need to join in. All these old wrestlers <laughs> losing weight. Exactly. Kevin can do it too. If Jake the Snake Roberts can do it, all the drugs he had over his life, I can do it drug free. So I'll give you <laughs> three more. Paige. Yes, that's yes. Wow, she's going through a lot right now. And it's probably her character from like three years ago. <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's go. Akira Tozawa. Ah. Ah. Ah, yes, I like him. You, 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 don't, you don't watch wrestling, so you don't know. You don't, no, I thought he was like a kid. <laughs> I, 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 I literally <laughs> thought I was like Akira Kurosawa, <laughs> like the director. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> Kevin's having a stroke. We gotta stop the show. <laughs> <laughs> and then sexual chocolate himself. It's Javi? sexual, baby. Not Javi. Mm, wow. No? Okay. Wow. Mark hey, Henry. Hey, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Yes, I love Mark Henry. Mm. That's a pretty good roster to start sexual off with. Sexual chocolate. Now it's only ten out of the forty-seven that got announced. Apparently, they released an entrance for Sanity and Gallows and Anderson. I like Sanity. I have to watch that. So it looks cool. It looks pretty. Sanity's Sanity is like this group in wrestling where they're kind of like purgy. Man, had to they, give them. Wait, they like wear those creepy masks. From the yeah, purge. that's really from the purge. That's all I remember is like the footage where it's the two creepy people in masks looking up to the 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 door yeah. watcher thing. You yeah. see the, the people. That's what it is. The peep, not the peephole, the peephole. Quick thought, the peephole. The Purge franchise. Are we all on, fa- on board with that? That was a good, good franchise. Yeah, it's kind of done now. What franchise? The Purge franchise. Purge franchise. Do, do, do we all like it? That's what I'm just. Curious. I actually no. have a lot. I have a lot of feelings about the Purge franchise, and they really boils down to really interesting idea. I think at times it was poorly executed, but I enjoyed the series. 
I think we almost entered the purge the other day when that lady in Orlando <laughs> was on the corner mm. waving her arm at us. Slender yes. man. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. But other than that. <laughs> other than that. It was the middle of the night. Personal and she was story. Just <laughs> personal story. Mm. It's another story for another time. Yeah. When we're not sure if she's here or not. Yeah. <laughs> she, All you see is a hand. I know, right? Just oh. a hand come out from Hello. underneath. What, what, should, what should we do outside, outside the door? What? Nope. We cool. We cool. Right. So we saw a scary <laughs> figure at late at night, and we're worried that they're following us, but we're not sure. <laughs> that's another. That's another story. It could be real. Could be not. Who knows? We saw. Th- we saw through a ride through an industrial park. Also, yes. <laughs> Orlando was interesting. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys want to talk about? Actually, Javi, I want to talk to you a little bit about something. Yes. Oh, it's not the purge. Oh, what? Or okay. Man. I was definitely in the. So, man. Javi and I actually got selected to play Sonic Mania early. Yes. Well, not early, because we just got it yesterday. <laughs> um, and so we're going to actually review a lot of about it tomorrow. But are you excited for Sonic Mania, the game which came out on Switch, Xbox One, and PlayStation? Yeah, I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm a fan of the Sonic franchise and like sort of like the throwback feels mm-hmm. of the Sonic game. So yeah. I'm here for it. I played a little bit yesterday. Yeah. I, it was hard to learn the controls because I was like, I haven't played a game this simple. Like, it's simple, like Sonic back in the day. Oh, true. My old school Sega games. It goes. It, it's cool. It does that when you really? start. Every time you start up, it goes Sega. That's awesome. I haven't played that like on an actual console. And I was now like, I'm thinking what? about it, like arcade and on the computer. Mm. But yeah. ooh, interesting. And apparently, there's t- heck of achievements for you. Really? Or technically trophies for you because you're PlayStation. Forgot yeah. about that. Kevin's Xbox. I'm Switch. Alex is whatever she wants to be. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Alex should be, should be I'm a, our mobile gaming person. Ooh. But you, get a good phone. Or hey, you're the one that has to invest. Invest. Twenty thousand dollars in a good PC. That way, next time. You can yep, be the that's PC what I'm doing. Carrier. I'm Sorry, here to let now. you know my phone battery right now has twenty six percent. And all the mobile games, am I right? <laughs> so <laughs> not gonna work. But yeah, so Javi and I will be talking more about that next week. Just if we like it, if you should definitely get it. Yeah. Um, it's out now, but you know you can wait a little bit, or you can't actually because if you order games through Amazon Prime, you no longer have that twenty percent off discount two weeks after the game comes that out. That is a bummer. It's sad. Sad face. Hurt my heart a little bit. I once saw that. <laughs> so have you guys ever pre-ordered games since you were little? I used to pre-order games back in the PS2 days. Mm-hmm. So like 10 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. I used to pre-order. Honestly, I used to pre-order either Naruto games or of really. Of course you would pre-order my, Naruto games. <laughs> that, but then like my main hub of pre-orders were always Pokemon games. Oh, really? Yeah. I pre-ordered Ruby. I pre-ordered Diamond and Pearl. I pre-ordered black and white. I pre like. I like, feel like those you had to pre-order because they were in such high demand that like every kid wanted them. So you're yeah. like, yeah. see, that's and what I pro- thought and too. Pokemon Ranger too. That's what they made you think every time. You're like, oh man, it's gonna be all stock. That's what I thought also until I started working at Best Buy, <laughs> and oh. Halo Three came out, and we literally had two thousand copies in the store. What Seriously? came out? Halo Three. Oh. 2,000 copies. I'm like, I'm never pre-ordering another game again. What's well, the point? So, well, so Alex, <laughs> did you pre-order games back in the day? Oh no. I didn't get a PS2 until my grandfather gave it to me. Ah, man. And it was his. <laughs> and That's <I'll>... pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what games did he give you? I didn't even know that. Madden 2003. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Bet. Let's play. Yep. Let's bring play. it in one day. If we can figure out how to hook it up to a modern my TV, we'll hook it up to have... a modern TV. <laughs> my stepdad may have sold it already. <laughs> oh, man. Do you still have the games? Uh, no. Right now in my house, we have an Xbox 360 and like 50 games. Ooh. 50 but, games? Really? Yeah, but... Are they in a box? Can you bring them in? If you want to buy them. I, I mean, we just want to look at them. We like looking at the pretty stuff. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff in my house is being sold. Oh, okay, well, fine then. <laughs> I don't touch it. <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> but they do have a lot of games that you all like. True. So why won't you bring them in so we can see Once them? again, <laughs> bring it back to my stepdad buys and sells things. Oh, wow. Well. Isn't, isn't your stepdad like, like a storage locker guy? Mm-hmm. He goes to storage. He went to one last night in the middle of He's dinner. Storage we were like there. Yeah. yeah, storage wars, yeah. Yeah. We need a camera crew on him. I know, it'd be cool. Mini storage wars. Hold storage on, she, battles. Is that the, the Yup guy? <gasps> is he Yup? Yup. No. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. He's the, um. Yeah. From what I've seen, is there one that's like quiet in the background and he just like know. doesn't make noise until he busts well, How are we supposed to remember that guy? We have a Yup. Yeah, he's a, in our head. That's, what, like, yep. that's yep. what he does. He's yep. quiet until he buys it yep. and then uh, that's all you hear about. Interesting. <laughs> that's awesome. 
But yeah. he does have games. So. Next week, I want to hear stories from that because <laughs> you just told us that now. So <laughs> next week, we will hear stories. You need to go suck on your that, that on yeah. storage locker by so we. I've been there. It's finds. boring. <laughs> it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing like the TV show. In all honesty, it's like three guys standing in front of a locker and they're like, "Yeah, I'll take this one," and then oh, they that's buy not it. Fun. I want to be the up guy. Yep. But back to Amazon. Sorry, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> again. But yeah, so Amazon used to have it where you could pre-order games. Um, you can still do it now that if you pre-order, you get 20% off instead of like a uh, GameStop where you get a playable level or a certain skin, which is like what a character looks like. It's still annoying. But <laughs> so you get to pick your skin? Some games you do. Different costume. Like if you oh, played okay. uh, <laughs> any of the Batman games, you get to pick your costume. Okay. You know I still haven't played that Harley level from Batman Arkham Knight. Really, man, bro, you got to play that. Yeah. What are you doing? You love that game. I know. I keep forgetting because it's, like, it's like the things inside the case, I keep forgetting to put the code in. Mm. Ah. That's why Kevin's the Batman on the logo of the podcast, because he continually plays that game. Yeah. We had a, a discussion starting this podcast. <laughs> I want to be Batman. Oh, I want to be Batman. But I'll be Superman. Yeah. How did you win the Batman thing? Um, persistence. Oh, okay. yep. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought and, he just put on the, I thought it was just like one of those things where it's like, I'm just going to go ahead and put this suit He on. showed up to work in a yeah. Batman suit. <laughs> and he's like, well, but, you know what? <laughs> so it turns out that they stopped doing the 20% two weeks after, which was great. I used to do that a lot mm -hmm. um, because I would wait for reviews to come out after the game comes out. And right. then I'm like, all right, I'll get it. 20% off at Amazon. But mm -hmm. now they don't have it no more. Boo. Kevin, what was the point of pre-orders? It used to be because sometimes the games would come out and they would literally get sold out. Mm -hmm. But then once uh, that stopped and the games became like plentiful, like I said, we got 2,000 copies of Halo 3 in and oh, that was so released. What happens if you pre-order and they're like backlogged? You, you kind you of, it's like, like a waiting list, so yeah. oh, okay. you'd you be the next person down to get it. But then after that, people they kind of use it as a pre-order bonus. So you, if you pre-order Mortal Kombat, you get a playable character in um I don't know, Beast from Beauty and the Beast, Ooh, something like that. What? You know, or like you remember um that's so, gonna happen. Remember Soul Calibur when you pre-order Soul Calibur? You get Yoda or Darth Vader in it. Yeah. Or oh, then on, on GameCube you got Zelda. I mean, got got Link. Oh, yeah. Like stuff like that. Missing out on these games. And now it's gotten it's still going that way. And if you mm. if you pre-order like okay, if you pre-order WWE 2K18, you get Kurt Angle. Uh huh. So now they're kind of using pre-orders as a incentive to pre-order the game mm -hmm. instead right. of come buying day of, mm. which is still stupid because sometimes if you go buy day of, they don't really check the boxes of pre-order games and non-pre-order games. Mm -hmm. you still get the content. True. So, I, I discovered <laughs> that. I was like, dang it! I could have just waited till the day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Is it worth five dollars? Putting that five dollar down. I think it depends on Forever. how big a fan you are of whatever game is mm. being offered. How big that wallet is. Well, also <laughs> the point of pre-orders <laughs> too. Apparently, that's just for like the retailers. Yeah. For developers, it's so they can know how many people are actually playing their game. Oh. So if you're on like an all, oh, okay. all multiplayer game, like you're playing a GTA Five, mm -hmm. um, a Titanfall, Destiny, Destiny Two, those games where you're online a lot. Um, developers establish pre-orders so that way they know how big they need to make their servers. Servers are where, where all the data goes from the, everyone playing the game online. Right. It needs to go somewhere. So it's more of like a uh, a tool to see how many people are actually yeah, going to play Yeah, how many people cool. will play this. So if you have, um, I believe one of the games where, a lot of games have been crashing recently because of that. Um, mm -hmm. What was the most recent one? I think the most recent one was like No Man, not, not recent, but No Man's Sky was a big one where they didn't know everyone was going to pre-order it. And they, the first day, that's why you hear a lot of first day games crashing. You can't really play. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Friday the 13th was actually the very recent one where they were like, oh, people actually want this game. Crap. Yeah. And then you had to wait a whole week until the game was actually play fully playable. So. <laughs> have, you, have you played that yet, Hoodie? I have not, but I've seen people like, watch Let's Plays of yeah. it. I'm like, ooh, this is good. It was kind of fun. You, you either play Jason or you or play, play one of the counselor. campers. Yeah. Hard pass. And, like, the kill scenes are gruesome. But if you're Jason, <laughs> would, that be a, would that be a play for you? Yes. If I was Jason all the time, <laughs> yes. Uh, Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should, we should uh, take turns. Do a, do a crisis play of one of us as Jason and the rest of us as campers. I mean, counselors. That'd be kind of fun. Well, Joey. also, I'll have to get the same console. So oh, yeah. How's that going to work? Alex? Um, <laughs> once again, <laughs> we'll see how much they <laughs> Tell your dad I'll get some storage lockers for us. All right, and, cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, get them some Xbox storage lockers or some PlayStation storage lockers. I know, right? And we'll talk to them. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but where do you guys want to go next? Do you want to go to the DC Universe or the Marvel Universe real quick? Before we do our Watch the Throne. Which one has more positive news? Uh, depends on what you view as positive. Let's okay. go to DC. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys know those Justice League reshoots that happened like two weeks ago? Yeah. All because of the facial hair. Right? Actually, it wasn't just because of the facial hair. <laughs> it's also because they were trying to make Cyborg a better character. Oh, that's good. Better as how? Better 
by saying more booyahs. They Booyah! Better. That's good. I like that. So apparently the point of the reshoots were also to make sure Ray Fisher, who plays Cyborg, the actor that plays him, uh, had a lighter tone, more like the Teen Titans series. Okay. I like that. Yeah, because he's an athlete, so he's not he's not too too serious. He's like, a kid. Yeah. 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 I mean, like, maybe 17? Yeah. Maybe 18? No, make him hard. <laughs> <laughs> make him mean. Well, yeah, because in the trailers, you're like, he's, he kind of seems like Robocop, like, how are you, ma'am? Don't worry. Like yeah, depending on the, the, booyah, booyah, pizza, pizza. Exactly. Like he, like, like depending he, on the writer, he's either playing football in college or playing football in high school. So he's mm-hmm. a kid, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, like they had that moment when I guess like the car was flying and he stopped it, and he had a perfect moment to turn around and he just grimaced and looked at the camera. I'm like, booyah, booyah. Just I'm taking booyah. control now, well, they're, Alfred. They're trying to hold it from you, so when you said it in the movie, you're like, best line. Best Yo, line ever. What I think is gonna happen? He's gonna be like on. It's you're gonna see a a B forming his lips, and then Aquaman is gonna swipe in and say booyah. And oh. I'm just gonna be furious. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you meant like a physical, actual B, and I was like, what kind of movie is? He's that? a robot cyborg. How's <laughs> a B making it? What? I was like, what? Bees, my only weakness. But I like that. I like that they're like lightening him up, mm-hmm. which is good. The movie is what two, three months away. Dang, it's August. Yeah. I keep forgetting about that. That's something you should pre-order your tickets. That is that. Th- that movie is three months away. Yeah. That's they're coming close to the wire. That's stressful. Mm. It's it's, it's, a, it's a make or break movie. It's going to make money. It's it's going to be a good movie. Yeah. That that's the issue. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. You know, Civil War. It just needs to be. Good. Sh- yeah. It needs to be Incredible Hulk. Something like that. <laughs> also, <laughs> Javi's face of confusion. <laughs> in the DC universe, we're gonna stick with DC. Yeah. Because this is sort of bigger news. We might have a new Batman. <sighs> I'm so sick of this story. Do we trust Casey, though? I, okay. <laughs> I have a theory about this. Have at it. Also, I was dying when Casey said, my brother was okay. And then when he realized <laughs> that he said his brother was okay as Batman, he's like, oh, wait. I mean, like, he's he was good. <laughs> Look, if I'm going to talk about my brother as Batman, I'm going to say he was the best of all time. He was the goat of goats. Bye, bye, back, sheep. Have you any wool? Wow. Anyway. Uh-huh. Wow. Where do we go this now? Here's my know. theory. <laughs> what if, like, he's stepping down as Batman, but not necessarily as Bruce Wayne? He's pulling, like, a Batman Beyond. That is a rumor also, actually, that the next three Batman movies, one of them is going to be Batman Beyond. That is a rumor. I, like, imagine, like, if that's the look. Like, if that's sort of, like, the feel that we go for. I'm but totally we fine just, with that. Did we just have, like, a conversation about how Ben was like, no, I am Batman. Right. And, like, there were, because there were rumors swirling around, but, like, he said it, and, but yet, like, Casey Affleck, like, has, like, suggested that it's not going to happen. So, I, like, really, it's back and forth at this point. Like, the official statement is he will be back. But who really knows? But I'm saying, like, we get, since we have an older Batman, an older, more jaded Batman, what if he, we see in these next, like, this next movie or two, him sort of find a young apprentice or somebody. For him to sort of take, what was it, Tracy? Was Tracy his name? Tracy McGinnis. Ter- Terry McGinnis. Terry. We have we find like a Terry that sort of takes that steps up and is willing to take that role and become like a younger, more upgraded Batman with glow Bruce, up. Yeah, I know, right? With the glow <laughs> up with with Bruce Wayne on the back burner, which would then create an interesting dynamic for the Justice League. But hey, I mean, it could happen because I mean, it's 2017 now, right? Yeah. Next Batman movie comes out in, I think, 2019 or 2020. Yeah. Terry McGinnis was born in 2023. Ooh. Tell me how. So, I mean, we could do a little time jump. I'm, I'm, I love time jumps. Let's do it. Hey. So <laughs> that's that's what my theory is. I don't know how y'all really feel about I think it, it. I think it's just one of those things where it need a story. So Casey Affleck said he wasn't all that great. Oh, he ain't going to be Batman no more. We'll just post it, you know? Right. Because I, 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 I think contractually he has to be Batman for at least three more movies. Right. And I don't know what kind of lawyers he has. Apparently they're not good because Gone Girl, he, he got taken to the cleaners. <laughs> but uh, I think he, we'll, we'll see him as Batman for a while. What do you think, Cody? I think that these are all fake news. <laughs> fake news. Fake news. Fake oh news. Boy. Oh, boy. That's a different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Casey's just jealous. Did you know Casey is um, Manchester in, in the sea? With the girl? <laughs> yes. in a relationship with the girl who plays Maggie Sawyer on Supergirl? Huh, interesting. Yeah. I see them. Maybe he is jealous. He's like, man, I need to get me a superhero role. Yeah. Hey, I'll be bad. I'll be Batman. <laughs> but let me ask you guys this: well, I two questions, Bruce two full questions. Brother, 
Because he actually does have a brother. He died. Wow. Sad. Yeah. But it's, it, He's alive in this universe. It's multiple Earths, and that's one of them. But anyway, uh, so let's say Bat- Ben Affleck isn't Batman anymore. Who plays Batman then? Ooh, Kevin set me up. Casey. Casey. Casey Affleck. <laughs> Casey Affleck. Batman. Batman. It was all set up. Yeah. <laughs> it was He's all like, set up. Oops, that's me. Gotcha, big bro. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Wait, is Casey younger or older? I saw, I, he, uh, he looks. He looks, I he looks he older. older, but I think he's like a year younger. Yeah, because all that hair. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was in deep all right, back to the real question. I would say who I want to replace as Batman. I'm going to say John Hamm because he should have been Superman this whole time. Ooh, that's a good one. But he can be Batman. That chin, though, that's all you need in the Batman costume. <laughs> that chin, though. I said doe. Doe, oh, my bad. <laughs> Who do you want as Batman, Javi? I think it'd be interesting, although this is a bit of a stretch because he's already currently in a comic book franchise, not DC or Marvel related, but I think uh, a Taron Egerton. I don't know who that is. Uh, Kingsman. <laughs> Kingsman. Oh, that guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're thinking young Batman. You're gonna yeah. go with that. I'm. I'm. Oh, gonna, yeah. I'm still gonna go with my like my Batman Beyond theory. Mm. I like. I want to see like a younger sort of person take the mantle because like, not that I I'm not enjoying some of these older guys take it up or like the idea of an older Batman, mm-hmm. but I think if they st- flip the script a little bit and stop going with the same Batman formula that we have been seeing and sort of switch it up a little bit because we haven't really seen a Robin. In a in well, a recent one, and like I remember the when, last Robin was Chris O'Donnell, right? And I remember when <laughs> no, uh, the Batman they had what Robin? was his name? Oh yeah, it's Michael yeah. Sarah. Joseph Lord Joseph Gordon Levitt. Oh when, yeah, yeah. When like yeah. they were like, oh, he would set up to be like Nightwing or like the next Batman. I'm almost like, that's kind of dope. I kind of like that idea. Yeah. So I think a younger Batman would be the way to go. You, you got to see my computer screen? That's what I wanted as Batman. I can't, I can't see it. Name? Jensen Ackles from Supernatural. Oh, Yo! Good option. I think he'd be yeah. a really good Batman. I, I I like that. I like that. But what about Terry McGinnis? Batman Beyond. We were saying, oh, so, you, so he'd be Terry McGinnis. I'm just saying, do you have an idea who could be Terry McGinnis? Uh, no. If we're they see, go that route. We're talking Batman here. Okay. We, get, we got to get our sets as Batman. We don't know who's going to be Batman. It's gonna be Ben Affleck. I think it's gonna be Ben Affleck. No, we're just saying if it's gonna be Bruce Wayne. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, sure. You know, Dick Grayson, Dick Grayson. down the line, Terry McGinnis. Yeah, Greg. yeah. Alex, who do you want to be as Batman? I really don't know. I was honestly just searching through my phone for people, and I when I looked up John Hamm because I wanted to see what he looks like <laughs> now. Because isn't he normally like all suit and buttoned up? Type he was. Or, like yeah, he 10 was. Years for, ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah, now he's all scruffy. He is. Um. <laughs> I actually, I really like that option. All in all honesty, I like John Hamm. Hey, oh, John Hamm wins new Batman. But Jensen Ackles is a real Dang close it, second. Jensen Ackles. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know I'll who talk, I want to be talk Batman post. though? I'll talk post because I like. I feel like Jensen Ackles could be used other places in the DC universe. Oh yeah, definitely. What about his... Jared Padalecki? Jared can go home. Oh, Burn. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Wow. Kevin, who, 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 Bye, you Sam. Say this is, now, this is your real consideration for you want as Batman? Or, yeah, or Justin Eccles out as Batman, but if, if if they were gonna go the Batman Beyond route, I want Glenn from Walking Dead to be Terry McGinnis. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Stephen if, Yoon. Yeah. Yoon? If Jensen Eccles or Jensen Eccles was going to be uh, Batman, I think they'd have a real big fight with the CW because Supernatural has been going on forever. But Supernatural's <laughs> probably got in. I I would not put it past them to continue it. I read an article that said it would go on as long as they wanted to. Oh. I'm like, wow. They, they've been holding Forever. On. <laughs> exactly. What is it, 15? Supernatural has been on there since it was the WB. Yep. Yeah, it's like 13 seasons deep. You no, know it would be great. A Supernatural Rick and Morty crossover. That won't happen. How? What? <laughs> How is that going to happen, How Kevin? What? The Infinite Universe Kevin, is... Kevin, you were just reaching too much. <laughs> I, love, I love how Kevin's Kevin, on board with this. And I'm, any, Kevin, any Rick and Morty thing, I'm here for you, Kevin. <laughs> I just love you're here for it. <laughs> Anyway, that was such a reach. <laughs> that was such a reach. That was the most reachiest of reaches. <laughs> Kevin's such a big fan now. He's like, I'm trying to prove my fan to everybody. He sent I said, us a text. I like, said, guys. I said, Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, guys. I did I love it. it. I did it. I love it. I'm waiting the whole show. Something we don't have to prove ourselves to. Well, kind of Alex does a little bit still. What? Game of Thrones. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's oh time gosh. for our favorite end segment of the podcast until the DC shows come back. <laughs> <laughs> because Javi can talk, and Alex has to go in the corner. 
But she I can wa- say if she wants. Actually, I she watched, watched this, this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you watching? I was so confused. I forgot you were. I'm just kidding. I knew you were there. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for hashtag Watch, watch the, the Thrones. Shit. <laughs> it's your boy. Kanye to the. <laughs> I tried. Wow. I love this. I love that we like, it's hoodie. sort of like not as efficient as, as like get, bring them out. So, like, <laughs> wait, by the way, this yes. is we only have two more weeks. Two more weeks. One week. No, didn't, two weeks. Didn't two weeks. this week two get leaked already? So, oh, dang girl. I'm sorry. Jesus, I didn't, I didn't wow. Really wait, I, my favorite part of this is that your story got leaked by Alex. Oh. Well, it's because <laughs> I, I I'm literally to. about to say it. Double and leaks. Alex hears what I'm about to say and says it before I. Double go. leaks. Double leaks. <laughs> so, speaking of that, Alex, what happened with Game of Thrones? I just read a headline that... <laughs> I like, read a headline. Wasn't it that HBO leaked their own thing? Yeah. HBO... Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm yelling. <laughs> I am so loud right now. HBO Spain, you had one job. <laughs> you had one job. I guess they figured that it can't get leaked if they leak it themselves. So what happened? Uh, HBO Spain aired this week's episode for one hour, correct? Or the whole episode. I think they believe... I, I believe that that's what it was, so... And uh, spoilers have now hit the interwebs, so be careful. Yeah, be careful. The web, I mean, like, there were spoilers already out there, but, like, the web is now dark and dangerous with spoilers. Full of terror. Yeah. It was cool, though. IGN posted a story about it, and they posted, like, in bright red letters, do not click this, it's spoilers. Oh, yeah, Polygon, the same thing, was like, hey, don't click on this article unless you want to be the whole episode spoiled for you. Right. But, yeah, so, I mean, it was, what, the third week now of... Episodes being leaked. Correct? Yeah, I, I'm yeah. starting to think it's, it's, it's on purpose because. It's an inside job. <laughs> well, I it could be on purpose because, new fact, this last oh technically last week's episode yeah. of Game of Thrones, once again beat the record for most people ever watching a television show. What like 10.2 million, it, something it, like that. It's 10.7 million. Seven million, yeah. Every it's getting another <laughs> another 500,000 viewers. Wow. I it, I think it's because of the leaks that everyone's like, well, I want to actually watch it now in person. After they watch the leak of it, and that's true because I mean, because most of these leaks, if if, if if you watch Game of Thrones this season and you saw the leak of, okay, if you saw a leak of the episode before last with um Drogon destroying Lancer Army, yeah, can you kind of want to watch that now? Yeah, <laughs> like after you read it, like, good God, I need to see this in person. Yeah, and I think <laughs> oh, I think God. part of it is uh, that you have there's a certain like fun aspect to it, especially when you hit social media and. Uh, you can live tweet it. So, like, if you leak thing, if, like, it's, you watch it early and it's leaked, you shouldn't go, I mean, like, you can, and people do go to the web, but, like, they know that they'll be blocked real fast by some people. If, oh, yeah. yeah. Or muted. Yeah, or muted. So, I think, like. I think it's a, some Instagram account was live streaming it and until they got, until they got ah. shut down. Yeah. Yeah. No. Bruh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I guess the, the leaks are helping. I, I mean, as far as you can tell, I mean, that could be just causality, not was it causation? Correlation does not cause co- causation. I'm using wow. math terms. I didn't, I'm, to, I'm, I didn't go to college. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's uh, causation without correlation without causation. That's what it is. Yeah. I press record for a living. Yep. <laughs> These are back to my 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 sciency days yeah. mm. that I knew things. That I knew things. <laughs> now I just drink and not know things. Wow. I'm just kidding. I, I like it. Like um, <laughs> reference. You know, I feel reference. like with the leaks for these, though, this is not a show where, I mean, yes, ratings are definitely important. Mm. Viewer count is definitely important. But it's not like they're going to be like, oh, our viewer count is down. It's like Game of Thrones is like one of the number one shows out there. So mm. I feel it's like not HBO the number one show. Well, like, it's oh, just cancel. the thing is they can, hi- the, they can hang their hi-hat on it. It's just like, hey, we got viewers watching us still. That's what yeah. that's say about our show. More important than your show. I keep leaking them. Mm-hmm. Like for, at this point, it's like no, we put out early. Be, be out on Wednesday. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm fine for that. <laughs> you know? Wednesday is the it's on. Oh, that's actually a good idea. It's Wednesday or like a couple of days before the show actually premieres. It's on HBO Go or something like the app. Yeah. And then if you want to watch it live in person, you watch it on the day it comes out. Why not? I'd be for that. The only problem with that is the social media aspect that Javi was just. That is about. true though. Yeah. That's true with a lot of shows though. That, that you that's know, true. I don't want to watch it. I gotta go to bed early tonight, so I can't watch it. But then I get on Twitter in, in the morning and it's spoiled for me. Yeah. Looking at you. Get off Twitter, bud. And, that's, and, that, and there you go. And that's the solution to it. Get off Twitter. So we can get off Twitter. Get off Twitter. <laughs> get off Twitter. Talk about it. <laughs> you, really and you are literally telling me to get off <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> and I disagree. Yeah. I wholeheartedly disagree. <laughs> but besides that, who was impressed by this week's episode? Has that been a bad episode yet? Like I was impressed until <laughs> I really started thinking, and then Jon Snow, that's a stupid idea. That stupid name? No, it's oh. a, like like his plan. Like, <laughs> like yes, like I get like 
I guess we we should probably recap the episode. Someone else should probably recap the episode. So Kevin, recap it for yeah. me. Okay, so um, shoot, that was a long time ago. Hold on, <laughs> Chavi, recap the episode. I can't remember. All right. All right. So where we are right now, uh, we've got we started out with the taking off of last week. So we so Braun saved Jamie, pulled him up on a lake so far away, but uh, and pretty much deep said, lake. You know. Why are you trying to do this? You knew that was a suicide mission right there. And we'll talk about suicide missions later. And uh, I want my money. And dragons are where my contract stops. So stop. Don't die. Um, and then <laughs> we go to, if we're uh, back at Winterfell, we see a couple of different things. We see Bran being able to warg several different ravens. And we go across the wall. We go north of the wall. And we see the White Walker army heading toward us. Woo! And then we've got... Man, uh, I just want Javi to do this. I know. I'm not <laughs> watching anymore. Can you record these for us? I know. <laughs> just add them to We have some friction between Sansa and Arya as they are going back and forth. And Sansa did not necessarily defend her brother's name when the Lords of the North were uh, voicing complaints, but she took the most political route. But Arya ain't having that. Mm. But Arya also knows that her sister likes nice things. Um, and has also been working with Littlefinger, who she has been following around trying to figure out that little raven scroll and figure out what exactly Littlefinger has been up to. Ah. So damn crazy. And what does he do? Uh, what does Arya do? She breaks into his room. Okay, and now speed it up. All right, gonna go ahead and speed it up. <laughs> and uh, what do we have? We have um, oh, Jorah returns. We see that John can touch a dragon. Hey, hey, hey! And John takes his crew, include oh, oh my gosh, we almost forgot about the return of one of the greatest characters in the show. Oh, oh, oh. I told you. I told you. I told you. I don't know why you point at me because I don't know what he's talking about you up until this see. moment. Uh, we have another uh, return of one of the greatest people. Real fast now. I know, uh, greatest characters in the show, and that would be Gendry. Gendry. Gendry Baratheon. And then uh, he, uh, John, Sir Davos, Gendry head back up north to, Tor- to meet up with Tormund, and they go ahead after receiving a raven from Bran talking about the Night King and his folks. Uh, they come up with a plan to bring back a White Walker to. Uh, Daenerys so that she can take it to Cersei. Cersei so they can go ahead and broker a deal just so they can all fight the White Walkers. So pretty much we've got the Suicide Squad which is John Davos, uh, Torment, Academy Award Gendry, winning Suicide Squad. Academy Award winning mm-hmm. Suicide Squad. I say that. With <laughs> and uh, a couple of, oh, the Hound, uh, the two hey, brothers Cameron without just, Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> the, the bro- two brothers without Brannis, Bannis. The Fire Sword guys. And, and they are heading North of the wall to capture a White Walker, which is a dumb plan. Now breathe. There you go. So yeah, all that happened last week. Good job, Bobby. Um So noble things, Gendry's back. I'm super proud of that. What a Warhammer. I've called it the whole time with a Warhammer. Yeah. And fun fact is, so he was called Clovis, was a sort of fake name <laughs> in the show. <laughs> I don't hear that um, laugh. So I Clovis, in actual sort of medieval warfare, is the top of a hammer or a battle axe that would be the pokey side. So oh. and he he had the battle or uh, battle hammer, yeah. as you could call it. Um, he had a pokey side on it. So I was like, funny because he makes weapons. And his name's Clovis. Clovis. <laughs> Clovis. <laughs> but yeah, so Gandry's back. We have, I like to call it the East Watch Avengers. Yeah, Some East Watch like, Avengers. Yeah, <laughs> that's like that just too. a preference thing. Um, it was a good episode. It was a really good episode. Dickens died. Dick the gone. Dick oh the gone the gone the gone the the Charlies uh, are gone. Yeah. Oh, besides Sam. I can't be mature about this. <laughs> oh, we forgot, oh, we forgot about Sam and... Oh, yeah. Come uh, on, Javi. Oh, I'm sorry. Sam? Oh, yeah. Uh, Sam told Gilly to stop talking when she was about to drop the biggest knowledge bomb in the whole sis- uh, system yes. history. Yes. Pretty much that Rhaegar had his marriage annulled and got married again to Leah. And that's when... Uh, uh, that's when, to, that's when to, to blank. We didn't to, hear that. Uh, and that's when Gilly took sort of shut up man of talking. We just got... <laughs> we almost got the legitimization of Jon Snow. Well, not sure. They could have just been married and not had a baby. And also, big ups to Sam for her how to read. She read really good. She read good. She read real good. Big ups to Gilly for out there finding the information. Yeah. Like, mm. Ragar, Ragar. Like, Rhaegar. Gilly, you keep <laughs> doing... Well, she was trying to say she didn't know... And also, you know, Sam stole a bunch of scrolls and rolled out, too. Yeah. Going back going back so, to uh, yeah. Winterfell. Sam is also a thing in this show, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. But one of the main things, so we we got a recap of that. Do you think Danny is going to become a villain at some point of this show? I hope not. She killed a bunch of people. <laughs> but she gave him a chance to live, too. She, she was like, yo, she, bend the knee. And they said no. Bend the knee. And then all of a sudden, burn. She needed to do that. I think, in my opinion, maybe it wasn't the, the best thing, because she has taken off after a little bit of her father. But, like, she... They called her a foreign-born, which she isn't, 
Um, and she needs to show that she's not here to mess around with these people. And they were also traitors. Yeah. Because they were, they were sworn to house, house Tyrell. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, to be honest. I mean, so they were traitors. They, they weren't great people, I want to say. So, yeah. I mean. She got to do what she's got to do at this point. Hmm. But don't kill everybody. Well, I mean, don't, don't get in her way either. That's also true. You could have bent the knee. All, all I'm she saying is, been, if, I, bent the knee. if I see a big old plain size dragon looking at me, and you tell me to bend the knee, I'm like, plain size, not, not extra large size. <laughs> I'm like, bend the knee. Like, which one? <laughs> Both? Right, left? You choose. I will lay on the ground. My elbows bend too, so I want you to know. <laughs> the only person who was denied bending the knee and lived is her boo, her boo bay thing. You know, Jon Snow. Who oh, touched yeah. the dragon? And then, and then touched when he, her dragon. And then when he well, said, when wow. he's not like that. Wow. Well, no, he literally touched her dragon. Drogon. Also said, <laughs> well, uh, she said when he was leaving, I got used to having you around. Like, oh, okay. Uh, okay. And, and he said, I know you did. <laughs> but something that's more important. Next week, we know that they're going north of the wall. Yes. But there's seven, about seven-ish people going. Yes. So we got Jorah. Yes. We got Gendry. Yes. We got the Hound. Yes. We got Jon Snow. Yes. We got Tormund. Yes. We got Tauros of Mir. Yes. And we got Sir Beric. Yes. I got all the names right this time. Good job. Oh, I've been you. searching. <laughs> I've been searching. I've been, I've been searching. searching. That was got really weird there for right. a second. We went to Beyond. <laughs> we went straight Beyond. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Beyonce of House Carter. Ooh. Man. <laughs> anyway. Um, so. Next week, we know Seven are going north of the wall. Yes. Do you think Seven are coming back? I think that we will get, uh, after much discussion with Kevin, I think we're going to, at least on my end. Now, don't tell me if you tell someone's going to die, because I have a little segment for that. So, do you think Seven are coming back, though? No. Kevin, you think Seven are coming back? No. Alex, do you think Seven are coming back? Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, She's I'm telling gonna, season three. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to give you a name, and you tell me if they're coming back or if they ain't coming back. Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Jon Snow. He's coming back. They they kill him again. I was about to say, didn't he already die? <laughs> yeah. Who? If they kill him again. No, he's not going to die. They can't do it. They can't do it. They can't do it. No. Yeah. No. I'm sorry. Not going to die. Not going to die. Gendry. He has to come back. He has to see Arya. So he's, he's coming so back. Pretty. Yeah. Gendry, get, <laughs> so that's a yes from Alex. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They can't kill Gendry. So they can't pretty. do it. Ooh, now it's going to get interesting because the other ones are good. Jorah. He's not coming back. He's not coming back, in my opinion. They didn't cure him from the, dra- the dragon scale not th- to kill him again. So he's coming back. I think mm-hmm. George's coming back. I don't think he's coming back. Because they like started building up the emotional tension and like saying, Between Danny again? Yeah. But like he's gonna he get kissed go. and then he's gonna die. He gotta go. I think he's gonna die. Oh, so I have two theories. So next is gonna be the hound. Um I think one of those two are gonna die. Um in order to become the right the white white the white the white walker, the white that is needed for King's Landing. Ah. Uh, yeah. They make Jorah die. You oh, know what? Boy had that grayscale. Well, that theory, I think Fire Sword guy's going to die then. Ooh. Because he, 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 he keeps can, dying and coming back anyway. Can he can he come back to his normal self if he dies north of the wall and then like, well, they oh, revive him? That's a good him? point, too. All he needs is uh, Tauros of Mir. It's a cool name, by the way. I want to be named Bull. It's Tauros, Thoros. I might be pronouncing it wrong. I'm oh, not sure, but it could be Thoros. Could be oh, Soros. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Uh-huh. Um, but I don't think he's coming back. Tauros of Mir. I could see. Like I feel. Who like... do you think? Let's do this. Who do you think is gonna die? That's probably easier. <laughs> My money, honestly, and I hate it. I love him to death. I, I hate it too because I don't know what you're gonna say. Tormund. Tormund. Uh, I think. It, I think no, it's gonna he, be yeah. No, he is not. He's, I think. I think it's time that. <laughs> nope. I mean. I refuse. He's making good money with, with those Holiday Inn commercials. I literally, <laughs> I literally refuse to believe that. Because That's how you know he's gonna die when he got himself another job. So he, he got an endorsement. Blow. It's a good plot. I mean, we're it, what? We, there's two two episodes of this, and then the last season, characters gonna die. We haven't really seen notable I, characters die this season, really. In my and my thoughts are, we're gonna get two two big deaths in this next one. We're gonna get one north of the wall, and then we're gonna get one south of the wall. Mm. Um, that way to split it up. Do not kill a direwolf, because I will lose my. Oh, mind. we haven't seen Ghost in forever, by Do the way. Do not kill a direwolf. Oh, 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 there's eight. Maybe Ghost came back. Who knows? <laughs> we haven't seen Jon Snow's wolf. They mentioned forever. them in episode. What was it four or five? Mm. So he's he, he, he's around somewhere. Yeah. Because mm. maybe they they blew their animal budget this week this year on a dragon, so they only can afford one direwolf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <side laughs> note, just real quick. Um, 
why hasn't Daenerys just gone ahead and taken her three dragons north of the wall? Excuse me. If they don't like the cow, they need a sweater. Yeah, and, and dragon needs all sweaters of them. too. Uh, also, can't Bran? What are the odds that Bran can warg into a dragon? Oh my gosh! Oh, like oh, did did a bird fly by? I wish like, think, I had like, recorded like, Kevin's face of surprise. Oh like, my goodness! Like think about that. I thought about that yesterday, and I'm like, that would literally be clutch AF. Yes, I'm That's all for freak. it. That's I'm all fun. for it. Clutch is fun. That is clutch as fun. Sure, it might happen this episode because we, we see that John's gonna get overwhelmed at some point. Yeah. Mm. So maybe he sees that. We also see that flame sword going to have flame sword. Flame sword. Finally, we've been waiting six episodes for it. Finally happened. This is the Game of Thrones version of uh, the lightsaber. So, <laughs> so does anyone have any theory of what's going to go on next week? I have a theory. Let me hear your theory first. I'll make my. All theory. right, sweet. So, <laughs> Sir Beric, uh, you know, guy who keeps coming back. Yeah. The Lord of Light guy, flame sword, flame sword guy. <laughs> um, he is going to bite the dust officially and not come back because in the books apparently. Um, in the books, Lady Stoneheart is this huge thing, which is Catelyn Stark. Yeah, it's kind of- uh, come back from life, and that's what the Brotherhoods Without Banners, their plot in the whole book is. Mm-hmm. Um, but that they kind of obviously have ignored that. Yeah, sort of, a lot. The Hound of <laughs> sort of took in Lady Stoneheart's place. I believe that the Hound is going to die. But Sir Beric, apparently in the books, he kisses Lady Stoneheart and gives her his powers of coming back to life, which is how she comes back to life. He's going to resurrect the Hound with his kiss. Maybe not on the lips, maybe on the cheek, <laughs> and then he's gonna die, and the hound's gonna come back to life, and that's how we have Clegane Bowl, boys and girls, boy girl. So, so, girl. so, so it's zombie Clegane versus zombie. Zombie uh, Clegane versus <laughs> resurrected Clegane. They're sense. both resurrected. Yes. Well, <laughs> we just <laughs> we figured that out when we said it. Oh, I, it's just, a, it's I, wasn't, zombie... I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. I'm like in my own head right now, trying to. It's a zombie Clegane Bowl. I like it. Mm-hmm. So that is my main theory. I think that's the best one because. Right now, the Hound, he's sort of in a middle ground where, like, he has a vision and he's going to be doing something, but he doesn't really know. And then the flame sword guy, Sir Beric, is like, I have a plan, but I don't know what my mission is. I uh, I like that, but what I think is going to happen, is since we've already seen that uh, they kind of get overwhelmed by the White Walkers, mm-hmm. I think Brant, uh, the thought of it, I think Brant's going to see that and walk into one of Daenerys' dragons to take off with it. And she's going to be like, what the heck? Where, where are you going? How did this happen? How did you get she, that reception all the way out here? And she's going to follow it. And it's gonna be two dragons helping them out, trying to get get them out of there. Ooh. So maybe I don't know, uh, Drogon and like, what's it? Is Drogon Viserion? What's what's the other one name? It's, it's, it's like it's like Agarion. Yeah, it's like it's like the Eevees from Pokemon. I can't even remember their names. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's so many Eevees now. Eevee, Flareon, Jolteon, Umbreon, Espeon, Vaporeon, Sylveon. I think Leafeon is one. Yep. Wow, hoodie is winning the podcast right Welcome now. Welcome to the Eevee podcast. That's all I got right now. <laughs> But th- that's my theory. I think we need some dragon warg in action. Dragon warg. See, dragon warg. <laughs> right. Dragon Morgan. I thought about that yesterday. I was like, that's an awesome band so name. So, Javi, you go with that theory then too? Uh, I, I'm gonna go somewhere in between. Yeah. All right. Cool. Alex, you have any theories what's gonna happen next week? No. Because <laughs> I'm still trying to figure there out season <laughs> three. <laughs> what episode are you on? Uh, the one I watched last night was. Oh, she's watching it. Yay. Oh, what happened? I was very tired. Must not be a good episode then. I'm getting to the end. I'm. I think I have two more left. Oh. Oh, you get. You just stick around for that. We'll talk to you when you get finished those last two. Is episode three? Uh, El, episode nine. Wait, don't tell episode nine. El, it was like El, El, El Rojo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I watched. Okay. I watched the one where uh, John and Egret. Uh, go into the go to the cave. Go to the John got the cave. juice. Yes. Oh, John Snow coming to my grotto. Yeah, John Snow. I'm so sad she died. You know, I'm is, still like, not I, over it. The thing is, like, I the entire time I knew that I knew she oh. died because she's oh. on the good fight. She's on <laughs> CBS on the Good Wife or something. So I was like, obviously this character is not here anymore because she has a whole new show. And d- is she? I almost said naturally British. Naturally, she naturally, I believe they're she all is British. Naturally British. British. Yeah. Because she has an American That's the new term. Are you naturally British? Because she, she has an American accent in The Good Wife or whatever that show is. How are you doing? <laughs> that's that's wow. it. So, like, the entire I'm time I'm watching it, I'm like, yes, I like Jon Snow and Egret together, but she going to die sometime. And then the. Oh, you they were like walking up the wall and the avalanche happened yeah. and I was like oh this is it and then they got to the top I'm like no no an avalanche happened y'all would have both been dead in real life but this is Game of Thrones so it's a different show yeah that's true mm. I'm so, excited that's where I am two more episodes you're gonna get excited soon you're gonna get sad soon <laughs> or excited it depends on what you view life I don't have out. season four though so and I don't have HBO so we'll work it out find someone who does <laughs> 
Find Anyone you a out man. there. All we need is new. If you have a username and a password for Alex for HBO Go, yeah. hit us up on Infinite just underscore pods. Go on Reddit. <laughs> probably a password there on Reddit. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Might not work. Might be a bad illegal account. Who knows? <laughs> that's, the, that's the joy of Reddit. Maybe it's a shared account. That'd be cool, too. Yeah. Just people sharing the love. Sharing the love. <laughs> that's but the name of the account. <laughs> you know how you can share the love? By following us on at Infinite underscore pods on pretty much every social media, including Facebook, where it's Crisis on Infinite Podcast. We post our blogs there. It's kind of cool now. We have a place to post blogs at. And funny pictures. And funny pictures right now. And sometimes Facebook Lives. We put post our live hashtag Watch the Thrones there uh, on usually the day after the show airs or if there's something going on soon after. Yeah. We're going to do a lot more Facebook Live reaction videos and stuff. When it's concrete information, you yep. know what happened. But I'm excited. It's going to be a great week for Game of Thrones this week. Yeah. It's going to be a busy Sunday for me. I watch a lot of stuff Sunday. Mm. And now I got Rick and Morty to the mix. Yeah. And, then we'll, and then we're soon getting into the fall season where all our superhero movies and a clown come to entertain us. Nope. Or scare us. Nope. Not going there. Not going there either. Not nope. Has anyone it. seen it? Nope. No. Nope. No. I feel like we, we should kidnap Javi. And I don't want to see it. So I'm not saying it. It's going to be you kidnapped. Here's what we do. We, we put a bag over his head. We take him to the movie theater. We tie him to the chair. Take the bag off and run to the movie theater. Uh, can you make sure it's like a cloth bag? <laughs> <laughs> I need to breathe. <laughs> anyway, my name is Hoodie. I'm Kevin. I'm Javi. And I'm Alex. And you just listened to the 43rd episode where we talked about Game of Thrones, Batmans, the Cyborgs, and some Rick and Morty. Make sure you give us a like on all your plat- podcasting platforms and you know, give us a review so people can hear about us. And you just listened to the 43rd episode again because it de- needs to be repeated because I messed it up last time. It's cool. Episode of... Crisis on Infinite Podcast!